Mubarak says, my parents told me to finish a certain course in a certain institute. Am I obliged to follow them in that matter? If my parents tell me, <clears throat> I want you to study engineering, or I want you to come to our city and work there, am I obliged to follow that order, or am I only obliged to follow orders which give them benefits, like give me a glass of water, or go to the grocery and buy things? First of all, it is mandatory for us to obey our parents when they ordered when they order us to do things that are beneficial for them and it does not harm us. So my father says, go fetch me uh, uh, food from the kitchen. Immediately I have to do that because it's beneficial for him. He says, come down and carry the groceries from the car with me. Immediately I have to go and obey him. If I have a football match and he says, I need you to stay because I have guests coming and I need you to serve them coffee and to bring the food and etc. I must cancel my football match. No doubt about it. So these things, as long as it is beneficial for the parents and there's no harm on me, I'm obliged to obey them. When it comes to your major in university, or studying a particular course in an institution, this has no benefit for them. They may recommend, by all means, but they do not have the right to force me to study something I don't want to study. Like the old saying, you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force the, water to, uh, the, the horse to drink. So they can say, I'd like you to become an engineer or a doctor. But they don't have the right to force me to do this. And if you don't, I'm angry. And Allah would not uh, uh, make you successful. And Allah's curse would be upon you. This is nonsense. It's nothing. It's, it has no impact, none whatsoever. Therefore, yes, you may diplomatically reject that and do whatever you want to do. This is your life. This is your future. And no one has the right to dictate that to you, even your parents. But again, having said that, do not go head to head or take a head-on collision with them. Always remember that you have to be dutiful, you have to be respectful, and you have to be diplomatic. So find a way to reach their hearts, but at the end of the day, you do not need to continue, accept what you desire and want to pursue as your career or as your uh, um, academia.